love you. Thank you for joining us. It's Again, Christmas. it yes. is December, and we're going to stretch Christmas as long as we can. <laughs> it's my favorite time it of is year. It is my favorite time, too. Absolutely. We have a guy on today that is so blessed with pipes. <laughs> That's true. This is his instrument right here. Mm -hmm. I have watched him Jones. for, I don't want to say years, because it sounds like he's really old. But yeah. I've watched him for a long time on all of the Gaither Homecoming. Yes. We bought, I think, every one, every we, DVD. We have a lot of them. Every DVD they sold. <laughs> He's looking at us like. <laughs> and this guy, <laughs> this guy was recently interviewed. You just saw a glint on there. <laughs> Stop that, David. Uh, we saw a recent interview with he and Bill Gaither. Yes, it was and very Bill good. And Bill Gaither thinks that Larry Ford. That's his name. Larry Ford. Sitting right here with me. I can't believe it. We got him in the studio. That's it's unbelievable. Right. Has the best voice, tenor voice. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, I mean, when Bill Gaither compliments you, you've got to walk away with it. Have him sign that one. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, do you think about it when you're singing? Do you know what do you I have? Do I think about Bill Gaither? Yeah. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> Yeah, in the no. middle of a song, Bill Gaither. There's a picture there that you just don't no, want to right. deal with right. for the rest of your life. But, there. I mean, do you ever reflect on this instrument that God gave you? But okay, now that you put it that way, I'll yeah. have to tell you very honestly, yes, I do. But here's how I deal with it. It's not my problem, it's his. On the days when it doesn't work, it's his problem, not mine. Are you serious? I'm serious as I can be. On the days when it does work, that's his problem, not mine. Or, or whatever it may be, because I, I honestly have to deal with it in that it's his gift to me. It is. Yeah. Now, I try to deal with it as best I can, but if it's not working, that's up to him. That he may a, not want it to work. That is the first mm. time I from know. a singer I've ever heard. Really? Yes, I've never heard them it's not refer mine. to it as his gift, so he takes care of it. It is. It's truly his gift. Now, is it true you've been singing since you were five years old? You've been reading all that pro pro propaganda yeah, we send to you in the yeah, mail, haven't yeah. you? We're supposed to read we the stuff. We hope it's true. Oh, okay, okay. I give up. Uh, yeah, I suppose five years old. I have sung since I was just but a small child. You know, yeah. my, The musical gifting in our family was through my parents, my mom, my dad. Um, and I look back through those years and know that that has been passed on to me. Uh, yeah. Be it a spiritual or, or whatever DNA, it's there, and I can't deny it. And my mom was a singer, a musician, a keyboard player. Wow. She played for me. I sang when I was a kid. You were injected. I was. <laughs> yeah. I was. Yeah. Thank, God I wa thank God I wasn't inoculated. <laughs> <laughs> were you raised in church? Of course. Wow. What kind of church? Uh, do I say that right here on, yes. Yes. on sure. Go ahead. Christian TV? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Of course I was. I was raised in an Assembly of God church. In fact, this Assembly of God church began in my, parent, my grandparents' small home in the little town where I grew up. And then, of course, um, grew from there into wow. quite a large congregation in a very small town in Texas. And then later on in later years, I moved to Florida, and I've been here for the rest Fort of my Myers. life. Fort Myers, love Florida. It. I love it. Now, you're a Canadian. And what? Are you a Canadian? Oh, no. You're not. Oh, no. Now, no, I don't say that out of any kind of uh, technical <laughs> remorse or anything, you know. I'm saying that because it's the first time I've ever heard that question. But you just look Canadian. I do. He just said he was from Texas. I know. Well, he said you went there for a reason. Hmm. So you, know, you say that because I, I have been in Canada over the last uh, few years numerous times. In fact, this last summer I did a church camp in uh, Lewisport, Newfoundland, Ooh. and um, be going back doing some things. And in fact, in just in a few days here, I'm leaving for Winnipeg. Do Ooh. you know how cold God it is in Winnipeg? God bless you. God bless you. I hope you make it. It's up to God at that point, my friend. <laughs> yeah, can you lose your voice with some zero so cold? Of course you can. Really? Wow. It's up to him. We, we, we spent our 50th anniversary in Canada. Oh, I Canadian love. Rockies. Are you Canadian? <laughs> oh, he's going to get you now. Why would you, you ask that? <laughs> because you asked me, and I <laughs> thought maybe it would be I a... I thought you were going to come back and say, I look Canadian. <laughs> no. No, you don't look Canadian. Cheryl is your agent? Your wife? Cheryl is my wife. Yeah, my agent. <laughs> yes. She is. 
I love these questions. She's your agent <laughs> wife. She is that for a fact. And when you say 40 that, years, you, 40 you, years, 40 years this year. Wow. In fact, we just celebrated our 40th wedding anniversary on a little trip down to the Nassau Island, Bahama Islands, you know. Good for you. Where I had been a few weeks before singing for a, for a, a big campaign down there. So we had a great time. Now but, you sing in, in, in company gatherings like Amway and all that kind of stuff? Boy, you know, these are questions that I have never got presented, but yes, I have. <laughs> I've even sung for, uh, let's see, the, the guy on television, that little lizard. Uh, really? Yeah, Geico. Geico. <laughs> yeah, see, everybody, see, that's a brand. See how they branded that? Yeah, they did. They, did. they really did. No, no, seriously, I've sung for, uh, for various organizations. That's and great. And I go in and just kind of do an entertainment thing. And I not only sing Chris, Christian music, I, I go in and do love songs. Like, like give, me a, give me a little uh, acapella. Oh, no, no, not on Christian TV. Uh-uh, no, I'd have oh, to yeah, eat but, that one. But this is, I do everything here. You do what? Everything. This is loose Christian everything. television. This is, this is kind of, you know, this is kind of crazy uh, Christian TV. I want to stop. Thank you, baby. I just want to stop. Thank you, baby. Ooh. How sweet it is. You know that song. Yeah. How sweet it is yeah. to be loved by you. Yeah. I love that song. And I will not sing it unless my wife is present because I want to sing it to her. Now, and oh, I do. isn't that sweet? Now, how, do, how does it work with her as your agent? Because that means... She sends me to Winnipeg. In I was going to say, that, that, means, happens, right? that means when you get under her skin, she can send you away. She can send you anywhere. How have you picked up on such wisdom? <laughs> 51 years. 51, 51 years of marriage. Well, mine's right. only 40, so yeah. you'll get there. I'm telling you, she You're going to hang on to her, or are you going to uh, thinking about changing I, not it? A, not a way in this world would I change okay. it out. Uh-uh. Because I, now I've got, I've got six kids, yeah. seven grandkids. I can't count how many dogs we've had. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you got one right now? Oh, we do. She, she takes care of my what wife kind? while I'm gone. We have a Catahoula. What in uh, it's the a world? Really, oh, it's a crazy breed, I know. But she is a, a, a beautiful short-haired dog. Uh, who just lives there? She's she's family. So it's kind of a mix with a lot of dogs, or is that no, a real name? No, no, it's not a mix. It's a, it's a rather it's a unusual breed. breed. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that is who. weird. Can you sing for us right here? I'd love to. In fact, I'd love to do something that's Christmassy because we're wearing all this Christmas color. Yeah, yeah. that's right. It's true. December, okay? It is. And I'm going to stretch this as long as I can. <laughs> Try your best. Absolutely. It is my favorite. I thing. love Christmas. In music. fact, in fact, <coughs> take a look at my favorite. Santa, right back there. It, it, it literally is. I brought it from my house. There it is. Look at that. It's, my, you... it's my black Santa. See it? <laughs> I love it, 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 it is my. It is my. I'm not kidding. It's my all right. He's said he's telling the truth. Yeah, it's he? my all-time favorite. Mm -hmm. And I have a Christmas present that, that I haven't. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to bring it in and show you folks. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. But I, I have. Look at the look. I, I, I hope you're on getting the, the look on, on the Christmas tree. Face. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> My granddaughter just recently said, Grandpa, she's sitting there looking at the tree. Uh -huh. She says, what is your favorite ornament on that tree? And I said, it's my black angel. Oh, wow. And she goes, mm -hmm. are you serious? I said, it's my black angel. So we got that on, in, a, in a prominent place on the right. tree. I love black figurines. Uh -huh. I, I, just, I just love them. And she That's keeps amazing. reminding me I'm not black. Well, I've just been down in the Bahamas and... Every face I saw down there was black. Yes. Do they have Do they have figurines and stuff? And <laughs> well, we were having yes, and in fact, for the Christmas, I, this is where I was heading with this because during the Christmas season down there, they begin to put the figurines up on the trees, and mm -hmm. they were doing Christmas trees in wow. the Bahamas, and uh, they had black angels and a black oh, Santa Claus. That's that sure. neat. Oh, it is. Sure. You need to go down there and oh see. Oh my goodness! Take a picture next time. I will. <laughs> I probably won't see you for the next 20 years, and that means I'll be in heaven. It's been good to be here, brother. God, Thank you sure. God bless. Can you take your place over I'll there? I want to hear the best tenor yeah. known to man via Maybe. Bill Gaither. Maybe. All right. We'll try that one. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Get ready, folks. If you want to hear some fabulous music, listen to Brother Ford right here. Go tell it on the mountain, over those fields and everywhere. Go to tell it on the mountain, Jesus the Savior is born. Tell on the mountain, 
that Jesus is born. Tell them the mountain everywhere. Tell them the mountain that Jesus is born. Jesus the Savior is born. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ the Savior was born upon this day to save us all from Satan's power when we have gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, joy, joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God the Heavenly Father, the blessed angel came, and with that blessed angel, tidings of the same. How then in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, joy, joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy, 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 joy. Gonna tell it on the mountain, over those fields and everywhere. Gonna tell it on the mountain. Jesus the Savior is born. Jesus the Savior is born. Jesus Christ is born. Wow. Whoa. Can you sing one more? Yeah. Okay. Go, T. He's gonna he's gonna wait until it because we have those reel to reel jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been surprised where this road had taken me. Never in a million lives would we have dreamed of the hand. Standing at the danger. Why me? I'm just a simple man of trade. Why him with all the rulers in the world? Why here inside this stable filled with hay? Why her? She's just an ordinary girl. Oh, now I'm not one to second guess what angels have to say. But this is such a strange way to save the world. Think of how it could have been if Jesus had come and there would have been no Bethlehem, no lonely shepherds at his birth. Joseph knew the reason love had to reach so far as he held the Savior in his arms. Joseph thought, why me? I'm just a simple man of trade. Why him with all the rulers of the world? Why here inside this table filled with pain? Why her? She's just an ordinary girl.
Come join us, Larry. Wow. What a message. Yes. Who wrote that? I don't know. <laughs> I should know. And I normally do know the names of the writers. In fact, on the other songs that I sing today, I can tell you who the composers are. Uh, but that one, I do not know. Isn't that interesting? It's beautiful. Is it old or is it a new song? It's a new, rather, rather new song. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You have some brand new work that they can <laughs> wow. go to your website. Yeah. You did a DVD, mm -hmm. and this is a CD. There it is on screen. And I understand, let's see, it's Home Where I Belong. You did that in your home. Well, we did it in Fort Myers. Fort Myers. At First Assembly of God, which okay. is my home church. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, great church. Uh, yeah, and the building speaking, that speaking night Speaking of crazy, he's a crazy pastor. Oh, brother. Don't. Don't tell him isn't I said he, that. I'll never it, live it down. Isn't he, isn't he a little whack? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stop Sharon. that. No, he is a wonderful. In fact, wonderful. I was hoping so much that he would you gotta be You've got to tell there. him his name in case somebody doesn't know. His it. name is Pastor Dan Betzer. Yes. yes. Love him he's, dearly. He's weird. Yeah, he's weird. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Okay. But I was praying that he would be there that night, which he was not. He happened to be away, like he is many times, in mm -hmm. a conference up north. But uh, when we did this in February of 2009, which has been last year, of course. We had uh, some guests with us that day. We had Stephen Hill yeah. from the from the Gaither videos. We had mm -hmm. Woody Wright from the Gaither yeah. videos, who right. writes some wonderful. In fact, and he wrote speaking, a, and sp okay, go ahead. Yeah, I will tell you the yeah. last one is. Yeah. Let me do that, okay? Yeah, okay. But anyway, Woody Wright wrote a song for this one called uh, I've Never Been Where I'm Going, But I Know I'm Gonna Feel at Home. <laughs> I love the title, and the title yeah. of the song tells the whole story. Yeah, oh, right. So, and it's great. Not only that, but we also, you know, it, they often say that it's better to, to get forgiveness than to ask permission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we did that with Mark Lowry. Yeah. He speaking was on there. So Mark's God forgave too. us for having it. Speaking of whacked. <laughs> now, speaking of do you, whacked. Do you know, you don't even know this <laughs> until now. Go. In the 80s, Mark was right in that area on my set. Uh-huh. And we did, I was the straight man, he did the comedy, in the yeah. 80s. This is when he would when travel. He was traveling by himself. And by himself, he had a 98 Oldsmobile. Remember those big, long 98 Oldsmobiles? <laughs> yes, I do. With a huge trunk? Are That's, we getting this on tape so yeah, that I can, yeah. I want to show this to Mark. And, right. and he would actually, you know, go to his trunk to get his records and stuff out. Yeah, yeah. he remembers and, that. And he would, he would ask me, he said, can I be on a couple of days a week? Because, you know, I, I think this is really working. And I said, Mark, you know, Possibly, but I, I don't know what happened to all of my video because that was back in the days when we had to use the same tapes yeah. oh, no. over and over again. Over so and over again. Oh, no. Because we had a budget that was that. Just <laughs> think what that would be worth today. I That's know. right. Oh. <laughs> no. and, 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 but I was a straight guy, and he was throwing the, the barbs. And he mm -hmm. will. And I mean, yeah. and, and then all of a sudden, I see him with the... Man. Bill Gaither yeah. and yeah. throwing the off. same barbs at him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this guy is just multi talented. Yes. Have you ever sung his song? Mary, did you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know you notice I know exactly what that song yeah. was when you ask, and no, I have not done it. So many people have said you need to do that song. Mm -hmm. And they're right, I probably do. But Mark has been an influence in my life. Tell me how. Since he was a teenager. Uh -huh. And I knew him when he was probably early teens. He came and sang on a, on a program called the Gospel Singing Jubilee. I remember that. Which I was on I those years that. ago. And I knew him then. He was, of course, as myself from Texas. And I, I just, I got to know him as a kid, you know. And he came on and he did these shows on Jubilee. And I got to know him and his mom. She would accompany yeah. him on all She's of these She's a things. great singer, too. Yes, she is. Beverly is a wonderful yeah. person. Mm -hmm. And through the years. Now, I, tell, tell him what his dad did. His, his father was an attorney. Yeah. yeah. 
and they all were from Houston, Texas. And eventually, his dad ended up in in um, Lynchburg. In Lynchburg, working for Jerry Falwell, and uh, that ministry there with right. uh, all of yeah. all just a small little church. Yeah, small church. Yeah. Great yeah. people. They loved them help. dearly. Yeah. And he was yeah. a, a big part of the helps and the ministries yeah. there in that church. Mm -hmm. and great people. <laughs> I really enjoy working with Mark. He came to do this with us. And every time, I'm going to tell you, every time the situation gets heavy and you expect uh, it's going to be, you're going to find a, a difficult place to dig yourself out of. Here comes Mark to take mm -hmm. the weight off. Yeah, he, and he's done that so many times for us. And, and you, you can tell Bill and Gloria, they love that guy. Yeah, they do. I they mean, rely on him. Really? They All truly right. do. <laughs> and for me, I can tell you a quick story that happened while we were in Israel. Uh, I was up singing probably the most popular song for Christians in Israel is the Holy City. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that on the video while we're in Jerusalem there in David's Citadel. And I'm singing the song and I get to the second verse and freeze up. I just li literally lose the words. And I not only did that once, help me Lord, I did that twice. Coming across the little moat is Mark Lowry. He stops in mid-stride turns around to the crowd and to me and points and says, Larry, you don't have to stumble. The words are right there on the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> but monitor or not, I stumbled through it. And thank God, he lifted the, you know, it's not going to make it to the cutting room floor. I know that. I have no <laughs> doubt in my mind. Bill's not going to allow it because yeah, I yeah. got the good stuff, yeah. you know. But right there in the middle. So of they the, edit. They edited out all of that. But it was there nonetheless. And I'm sure somebody got it on tape. I wish I had it. My <laughs> Mark Lowry. He, he is. A, he's a I love him. Unique, I think he's a great guy. Unique, talented. Uh, I understand that he has to hear all the music. He, he doesn't like, did you know that? He has to have a run through and it sticks in his head because he doesn't like. Oh, it's for sure. He doesn't know his parts. Not just the music. Now, now l listen to this, okay? <laughs> because Mark has to be programmed. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and He's like a robot. Know, the reason I know that is because Bill Gaither told me so. He said, Larry, he said, we need to make sure and program Mark because one night we were doing a Christmas program up in Knoxville, Tennessee, I believe, somewhere in there. It's been several years ago. And Mark had a cue in the, in the song to come in and sing one of these Christmas songs with us. And he didn't come in. <laughs> he came in late. Finally, he got there. And when he walks up, um, we're singing chestnuts roasting on an open fire. We get to the interlude in the song, and he reaches around and grabs Gloria and starts to dance with her across the stage. And Bill says, no, no, you can't do that. So he stops it. Well, Bill, what Mark has done has, has saved the situation. He's supposed to come in at a particular time, and he lost that punchline. So he came in, he grabbed Gloria and started dancing with her. Did they keep it? They kept it. Wow. I don't think it went on any video, though. <laughs> now, you're a professional pilot. I do, yes. So if Great. you had not been <laughs> blessed with this this instrument, I don't think so. Would you have been a pilot? Uh, well, there's a very good likelihood that I would have ended up somewhere being somebody's chauffeur. Yeah, mm. and um, I did for a few years and figured out that that wasn't the place for me. That's what her brother does. He All flies G right. fives, mm -hmm. Gulfstream fives for rich people. No, that's what happens. <laughs> and when the rich man says go, you get you it. Go. You go. You go. That's right. Can you sing us out the next song? How, how, how many minutes would it be? Now I'm trying to remember what song I have. Oh yeah, I tell you what. If you'll tell the sound man to pick the last song in the in the uh, in the list there, okay, I'll sing one that's a big, big, big Christmas song. Thank you for telling him. Grab your mic. I'll do it. Go right there. Thank what you. a joy to have you. Thank yes. you, sir. Love you, buddy. Larry. God bless Love you. you. I appreciate being here. Oh, hey. 
I can see, the we even though it's cold here in Florida right now, it didn't affect that. Oh, I hope not. Did that, did, did that feel good? It was. It worked. Yeah. God let it work. And this guy is going next year on a cruise Ooh. to Alaska. You're really doing your reading, with, brother. I'm telling you. With Bill and Gloria Gaither. Can you imagine wow. what that would be like? Okay, go to his they website. Need to go with is this yeah. a commercial? Go to his <laughs> website, take a look. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>